The Pokwasa interchange has been in the news for a number of bad reasons. Key amongst the issues that have caught the public's attention are the pounding of Fufu in the pedestrian walkway, stealing of crash barriers and components of street lights, and the fall of a motorcyclist from the third year of the interchange, among others. The most recent incident occurred on Wednesday, 26th January, when a 40-footer container fell off a truck which was moving from Accra to Kwabenya. Nicholas Odai is the driver of the truck. Me for people that I'm saying container no add 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 name. I care for you and add 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 name. We do not share. Kuku asi kwabenya kwabenya o no. Me banzi na add name sir. We too sharp. Yes sir. Me 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 the external operations manager of Zume Engineering Group Limited, Desmond Yahudanu Bidi, noted that most of the crashes on the project could be attributed to the continuous disregard for the required speed limit by motorists who use the facility. I can say for a fact that the drivers are overspeeding within the curves of the Pokwasi interchange. When approaching all the curves, we have 40 kilometers per hour that you have to drive. Any driver who goes beyond that will have such fatalities and it is just simple and short. When I came, I did my own personal assessment and also spoke with the police. It whole has to do with, the gentleman says he was driving within the same speed limit and other things. But I believe the man was overspeeding. That is what I know for a fact. Because in the curve, even if he had the accident from the beginning of the curve, then that would have been a different conversation. He maneuvered all the way to the latter part of the curve, which the container actually moved off from the load bed. That tells you that the man actually lose focus or probably that is the bottom line. He was over speed. Currently, we will be charging for causing such damages within our retaining wall, which he will pay. And we will press the police to do that for, on our behalf so that we can make those charges and repair those retaining walls before the actual handing over. With whatever the laws will allow for such accidents, I don't know. But we will actually be pressing for our cost to be paid because damages have been caused to our retaining walls and as well as the asphalt. So that is where we will be making charges to the driver and its owners. Contractors of the Pokwase Interchange are cautioning motorists to desist from overspeeding on the project, according to them. Continuous accidents on the project will affect the lifespan of the interchange. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.